while the president-elect is making progress on naming his team, it seems that something close to open warfare has broken out over his deliberations about choosing a secretary of state, especially when it comes down to consideration <laughs> of Mitt Romney. Well, let, before you laugh, let me let me I make my open warfare. Well, let me make my case. Okay, go I, ahead, Chris. If I will, okay. All right, make your case. Then you can make fun all of right. me, uh, particularly in the consideration all right, all of right. Mitt Romney and Rudy Giuliani. Let me put this on the screen. Transition official Kellyanne Conway tweeted this on Thanksgiving: receiving deluge of social media and private communications. Romney about Romney. Some Trump loyalists warn against Romney as Secretary of State. And key supporter Mike Huckabee said this. There's only one way that I think Mitt Romney could even be considered for a post like that, and that is that he goes to a microphone in a very public place and repudiates everything he said in that famous Salt Lake City speech. Mr. Priebus, does, does Mr. Trump consider that appropriate for top advisors to lobby him in public about people he's choosing? Is that the kind of White House as chief of staff that you're going to run? And must Romney apologize to get the job? Okay, so let me kind of package this up for you. Um, there are opinions of, as far as this topic and many other cabinet positions. Uh, but I think what President-elect Trump has said is that as he said the entire campaign he's going to hire the best people possible so he's going through this process he's interviewed and talked to governor romney he's talked to the mayor he's talked to others like uh general kelly he's going to be talking to more people next week he's going to be making the best decision for the american people it isn't a matter of warfare i mean there's a lot of opinions about this and yes it is a it is a sort of a team of rivals concept if you were to go toward the governor romney concept but I think that should tell all Americans about where President-elect's head's at, which is a place that will put the best possible people together for all Americans, no matter who you are, what religion, what, whatever your opinion is, um, he wants to move forward looking through the windshield and not the rearview mirror. And that's where President-elect's uh, head is at, and I think it's a great place for Americans. Is Romney going to have to apologize for the very harsh things he said during the campaign in order to get the job? Well, I'm not, listen, I'm not going to do the play-by-play, -play, Chris, on what's going to be required or where things are at. I, you know, I, I think things are moving forward. I think he, President-elect Trump's going to keep talking to the right people and get opinions on, on what the right decision would be, but ultimately it'll be his decision. And I can just assure the American people the fact that he's actually even flirting with the idea of choosing a rival should tell the American people where he's at, which is the best place for, for everyone in this country. Let